Oh, Henry, oh great sage and eminent junkie big brother. While we're on the subject of our feathered friends, you want to hear my definition of cooked goose? That's when the customs guy at Kennedy Airport decides there's something not quite right about the way you look. Or it's the day that they got those dogs with the PhD noses and they all start barking and shitting all of themselves and it's you they're just about strangling themselves on their choke chains trying to get to. And so the customs guys, they go through your luggage, they don't find anything, so they take you to a back room and they ask you if you mind taking off your shirt. And you say, yeah, I sure would, I'd mind like hell. I picked up a little cold down in the Bahamas and the air conditioning in here is real high. And I'm afraid that, uh, you know, it might turn into pneumonia or something. And they say, oh, is that so? Do you always sweat like that when the air conditioning's too high, Mr. Dean? You do, oh well, excuse us all to hell, now do it. And you do it and they say, you might want to take your t-shirt off too. Because it looks like you got a little medical problem there, buddy. You got a couple of big lumps under your pits and they may be lymphatic tumors or something. And you don't even bother to say anything else. That's like a center fielder doesn't even bother to chase the ball when it's hit a certain way. Because when it's gone, it's gone. So you take off your undershirt and hey, looky here, you're some lucky kid. Those aren't tumors, unless they're what you would call tumors on the corpus of society, yuck, yuck, yuck. Those look like a couple of baggies held there with scotch trapping tape. Oh, and by the way, son, never mind that smell. That's just goose. It's cooked.